Hi friends, in this lesson we shall discuss financial ratios relating to capital market. Friends, capital market is market for long term securities such as shares, debentures, bonds and a number of ratios are related to capital market. These ratios include earning per share, price earning ratio, return on equity ratio, dividend yield ratio, payout ratio, market to book ratio. And here we are going to discuss earning per share ratio. What is this ratio and what does it indicate? Friends, earning per share, it is an indicator of level of profitability of a company. So what is the level of profitability a company is earning? And that is indicated by earning per share ratio. How this ratio is calculated? The ratio is calculated by making use of the following variables. To calculate the ratio, we need net profit after tax. Then we also need to know the dividend paid on preference shares. Then we also need to know the number of equity or common shares. This all information is required to calculate this ratio. And certain precautions also have to be taken. The net profit, it should not include extraordinary income. Sometimes the companies have extraordinary income. For example, if they sell a fixed asset on profit, that will be included in income of the company. So that is extraordinary income. Similarly, it is possible there is some extraordinary expenditure. So sometime large expenditure on say advertisement etc is done by the companies that also is not to be included. So these items of extraordinary nature, they are to be excluded from net profit and the net profit is to be calculated only after tax. Let us see this example. Company X earned net profit of 130 crore and paid 30% corporate tax. Dividend on preference share to be paid is 20 crore. Total number of shares is 30 crore which include preference share of 10 crore. Calculate earning per share. So what we need is net profit after tax. The profit is 130 on which tax of 30% is paid. So first we need to calculate the net profit after tax. 130 is the total profit. 39 that is the amount of tax paid by the company. 130 into 30%. It means net profit after tax is 91 crore. Then we have to adjust the dividend paid for preference shares. So preferred dividend or preference shares dividend that has to be excluded 91 minus 20 divided by 20. So what is the number of equity shares? Total number of shares is 30 crore which include preference shares 10 crore. It means the number of equity shares is 20. Hence we can make the calculation 71 by 20 3 rupees 55 paisa that is earning per share. What this ratio indicates? One share in the company or investment made by investor in one share of the company. For the company it is earning rupees 3.55. So that is what the ratio indicates. Sometime it is possible that during the financial year there is a change in the number of shares. So sometime companies they buy back equity shares or they go for a fresh public issue or the lenders of the company who had given loans to the company with the condition that they will convert their loans into equity. Because of these reasons there can be change in the number of shares during the financial year. So whenever there is a change in the number of shares during the financial year for that purpose a weighted average of number of equity shares have to be calculated. If there is no such change then it is okay. We can make the calculation with this. Now friends who are the people who make use of this ratio? 
the ratio is used by investors the ratio is used by bankers the ratio is used by analysts so there are many people who are making use of this ratio who are interested in working of the company for one reason or the other reason how do we interpret the ratio higher and stable the ratio the earning quality is reliable so whenever this ratio increases and it remains stable also it speaks volumes about earning quality of the company and why this ratio is important this ratio is important for number 1 determination of price of share of a company so those companies which are earning or where eps is higher so their market price of the share will be higher major component to calculate price earning ratio another important ratio in capital market is price earning ratio whenever we calculate price earning ratio this is one input this is one variable which is taken into consideration and it is used to track performance of a company so whenever we want to track performance of a company over a time period then this ratio can be used and finally it can also be used for inter company comparison so companies which are in the same industry which are similar if comparisons made between the companies it can be easily known which company is doing better well friends i am sure the contents of this video will benefit you in case you like the video please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also like this video thank you friends for sharing your time